For most of the wild things on earth, the future must depend upon the conscience of mankind. Our planet has come to an unprecedented point in its history, where the actions of one species, man, will determine the fate of life on earth. It is not too late to ensure a future for sea turtles, according to Dr. Archie Carr. Sea turtles have been around since the time of dinosaurs. Amber White from the National Aquarium talks about the different types of sea turtles found along the coast of Maryland. So we have leatherback sea turtles. They're the largest sea turtle species. Um, and then we have green sea turtles, um, loggerheads, and Kemp's Ridleys. Today, we are losing these creatures at an alarming rate. Over 100 million marine animals die each year due to plastic debris in the ocean. Too often, sea turtles confuse plastic bags for their regular diet of jellyfish. Humans have long hunted adult sea turtles for food and for their shells and other parts. How do you raise awareness to their plight? You hold a special day for them. It is World Sea Turtle Day today, which is a fun fact. National Aquarium picked this special day to return sea turtles back to the wild. And we had two green sea turtles from the National Aquarium uh, right there in Baltimore, and we also had two other facilities joining us. We had Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. They released six turtles today. They released six, six Kemp's Ridleys. And we also had the National Marine Life Center up in Massachusetts. They also released five turtles today for a grand total of 13. But how did they end up out of the water in the first place? So there are a couple of ways that we see our sea turtles coming into rehab. Um, the first is a wave of what we call cold stunning. It's like hypothermia in sea turtles. And then our second wave is more human interaction based. Uh, in the summer, of course, there's more boaters on the water, there's more fishermen, so there's a lot of fishing gear, uh, entanglements, hook ingestions, um, boat strikes, stuff of that nature. Still, a lot of people ask the question, why should we care about the sea turtles? Sea turtles help to maintain marine habitats. Green sea turtles are like nature's lawnmowers helping to maintain seagrass beds. Sea turtles help to control the jellyfish populations. So in turn, the whole marine ecosystem benefits. What can you do to save sea turtles? We have a lot of really cool ways that you guys can get involved. Um, at home, you can start with reusable bags and reusable water bottles. Um, in your community, there are community cleanups, beach cleanups, because it all starts at home. If you start cleaning um, at your neighborhood or in your home, then you can start keeping the waterways clear because everything that ends up in a storm drain ends out in the ocean. If you're in the area, whenever we have a sea turtle release or a seal release for that matter, come on out and join us. We love having everybody. Visit your local BCPL branch to learn more about sea turtles. Here are a few titles to get you started. Thank you.